There is no doubt that after just 72 hours work, this is an amazing progress. What may have been just as amazing was the generosity and hard work of more than a thousand volunteers from across Central Texas. As News Channel 25's John Coco shows you, this job was a group effort that went around the clock. That's what the hard work of the Extreme Home Makeover volunteers sounds like. Mike, could you do this without volunteers? Absolutely not. Every one of these blue shirts behind me that you see who are coming out here who don't even know the family, who are donating their time and effort and, you know, skills to build this house for them. The army of blue shirts came from all walks of life. They were teachers. I teach fourth grade here at Salado Intermediate School, and so several of the teachers decided to get subs today and come up here and work. There were students. Um, you know, it's just an all-nighter I've never experienced. Usually I'm up all night studying for a test, but this is a a new kind of all-nighter to pull. Even parents and kids. I live here in Salado and I just want to help out. This is going to be part of our community now. A soldier that was injured in the Fort Hood shooting. In uniform and all, fellow soldiers also came out to lend a hand in building a home for one of their own. He needs a house and we're going to give him a house. While a good deal of the progress was made during the day, it didn't stop when the sun went down. Now it's close to 2 o'clock in the morning and about 30 degrees, but that's not stopping any of these workers from getting the job done. We shovel, we've been moving lumber everywhere, we've been moving sheetrock, bags of sheetrock, sweeping the house, anything, everything they tell us to, just moving things and helping out. Amidst the hustle of all the workers day and night, there was a joy felt throughout the entire work site. I've worked the volunteer tent and all over, and just to see just re regular folks coming up saying, when I read about it, I'm a vet, I had to come help them. Uh, ladies coming up wanting to be a part of it uh, at three o'clock in the morning, getting off shift work and coming up here to volunteer. You know, it's Christmas time and folks are acting like it. It's really amazing. It was a team effort, including workers who served workers. Dozens of local restaurants and volunteers preparing meals nonstop throughout the tireless workday. And there were celebrity volunteers out there too. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dave Cook! As part of the ABC program, comedian Dane Cook performed a free show for the soldiers and their families on Fort Hood. I tell you, I'll never forget the moment looking down and seeing him laughing with Jessica. I'll never forget it. And at the show, Operation Finally Home announced it was creating a fund to help the victims of the Fort Hood shooting. CVS kicked off the fund with a $25,000 donation. <laughs> Workers may have hammered the nails and carried the loads, but without any of the supplies and services, the house couldn't have been built. It was a well-oiled machine fueled by all those blue shirts. It's the kindness of people that really, uh, through the power of giving, we pull this off. When we come back, Reveal Day in Salado. The reason for this metal roof, tell us about that. Looks. <laughs> but, but it's more energy efficient, isn't it? No. <laughs> oh, it's not? Okay. Sorry. Well, we just won't use that. No, I thought that it's always been my impression was uh, that it's they were. It's to keep the rain out. Yeah. <laughs>